Ladies and gentlemen, I have found the way to create your local WordPress websites. Now, instead of creating a subdomain for all of your clients under your own website name or your own domain, or creating a subdomain under their domain, you can create your websites locally. Now, why would you wanna do this? You can basically just take off the load of the server in order to create your local websites. Whenever you are done developing your website in your local machine, you can just implement it towards the live server. You can deploy it, you can publish it, and it's really, really easy. And the best of all, it's completely free. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can get started with creating your local WordPress websites and publishing them towards a live development server. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna go over to your internet browser and search for localwp.com. Whenever you go there, you will find a similar website like this. Now, w Local WP is the software that you have to install in order to get this done. So as you can see, it's completely free. It doesn't even mention anything about pricing, which is really cool. The only thing you have to do is sign up, create an account with an email, a password, and I believe a phone number as well and you can download it for free. Now, once everything is downloaded and installed, you, uh, and you, you want to start it up, it looks something similar to this. Now, I have literally just found about this tool, so I don't have any websites or anything yet, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. We can create a new website here. If we do this, we can click on create a new website. So we don't want to create one from a blueprint because blueprints, we don't have them installed yet. What are blueprints? You can basically just create a blueprint that already has a theme that already has some plugins, for example, Elementor or something like that. Um, we don't want to have that. We want to start a completely fresh website. So let's click on continue and you can give your website a name. So I'm going to call this something like uh, development, perhaps. I don't know, it's a really bad name, but typically what you wanna do is uh, fill in the name of your client. Um, yeah, just fill in the name of your client. Click on advanced options, and what you can see here is a local site domain and your local site path. You can change these around if you would like to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it as simple as we can. So here you can choose your environment. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch this. If you are familiar with web servers such as Nginx or databases with uh, MySQL or PHP uh, versioning, please go ahead and do some customizations here. If you don't know what you're doing, just keep it a preferred. It's fine. You know, it's completely fine. It's uh, most likely up to date as in this point. Click on continue and from here you can set up your WordPress username, password and your email. So I'm just going to fill in test and test. And under advanced options, you can select if the WordPress uh, environment is a multi-site. It's not a multi-site. We just have one single site. Okay. And now it also requires you to put in an email address. That is the mock email address that is being created by local itself, which is really awesome. So it basically just replicates a real email uh, environment. So let's click on add site. And right now it's going to provision the services, install WordPress and deploy everything on a local Apache server. Now, maybe I'm throwing with some terms here that you haven't heard of like Apache and stuff like that. Don't worry too much about it. Um, that's just what happens in the background. For now, you can see it's adding and installing WordPress. Now, some pop-ups are gonna come up here. For example, I just had a pop-up with a terminal I don't think my recording software recorded it, but it did pop up. Just click on yes, because it's going to ask you to install uh, the server and set up your Apache environment in order to run WordPress. Cool. Now you have your website up and running. As you can see, it's already running. You can see it right here, one site running, and it says development. So. What are we gonna do here? We can go to WB admin or open site. I'm gonna click on open site. And as you can see, we have a completely empty WordPress website. So let's just go ahead and sign in with what I just did. So let's go with test and test. There we go. 
and we are logged in into our WordPress environment, which is really cool. And from here, you can just do everything you basically want to. Now, as you can see, we don't have any uh, plugins. We don't. Ha uh, we do have some themes, by the way, three standard themes, but it's a completely empty WordPress environment. Now, there are some things that you need to notice and uh, notice here. For example, we don't have an SSL certificate. It's not needed because you're running on a local machine. If you want to deploy this website towards the cloud, you are towards the cloud, towards a um, actual website and an actual server, you can do this, but you're going to use the SSL DNS settings, which happens automatically for you. So don't worry about that. Furthermore about this, you can also go ahead and uh, install Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now that is really amazing because it's not gonna cost you a license. For example, I still have my old Elementor license, meaning that I have around 250 websites a year, I believe it is. And if I create a, um, if I create a new website and I would install Elementor Pro on this website right now, it's not gonna count as a license. It's gonna show up in my Elementor account, but it's not gonna count as a license unless I publish this one uh, towards a actual environment which is amazing. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and you can uh, deploy this towards the cloud and it's really easy. All you have to do is you have to connect with WP Engine or either Flywheel, but uh, WP Engine is uh, really nice. But what you can also do is uh, install WP uh, Migration. So go to plugins and this is whenever you're done, uh, by the way. I can say all in one and you can install, let me see, all in one WP migration, install that, and then you can export this website. And if you install WordPress on a live website, you can install this plugin as well and import everything, including your Elementor subscription, which is really, really amazing. So yeah, that is in short, um, local it's the local WP that's it in short so I'm definitely going to be using this in the upcoming videos uh, and I'm going to be uh, creating all of my websites here first uh, because the machine I'm currently having is solely for YouTube videos and WordPress websites and that's it so I'm definitely going to use this and see if it uh, if it likes me so yeah Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, let me know. If you also want to learn more about WordPress and Elementor and maybe some custom fields, I just created a course. Make sure to check it out. Uh, I put a lot of effort into it and I would really appreciate if you guys would take a look there and maybe it helps you, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. If you wanna see me do something else within WordPress, Elementor, something else, just let me know and I will create a video based on your request. So thank you guys for watching and have a lovely day.